Hello everybody, this is Alice the Dragon, and I am coming to you with something that is not Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Um, yesterday sucked, like, a lot, and I, I don't think I am in a good spot to just, you know, play that run of Dungeon Crawl right now. Just because, um, well, uh, I don't feel that good, and I just, I just want to play something, and, you know, a game where it's not going to matter as much if, if I die, because I really want that dungeon crawl run to keep going. So, we are going to play Don't Starve, and we're going to start with, you know, our own gentleman scientist, Wilson. I always have to remind myself of his name. Um, and I am going to stop when my phone goes off and tells me it's time for work. So let's start while we have the time for it. We're generating islands. Uh, I, mean, I have, or, or I should say, I know the perfect song to describe yesterday, and it's actually the reason why I picked Shipwreck as, uh, as my starting world. <clears throat> Let's, uh, how about I sing it to you? Riding driftwood onto foreign shores, spilling out into the ocean floor, and the memories of you left without a trace paralyzed with the thoughts receding current sweeps you with the silent bleeding through the heart until the dark is placed turn around there's nothing to see here Run away, no reason to be here. It's the ghost who never goes away. Turn around and leave this behind now. See the ground as it leads to the sky now. You fight the sea, you're always gonna drown. All the secrets that you're holding, all the memories collide, all the frail thoughts that echo in the corners of your mind. They won't even last a moment, they will soon be swept away, when the ocean takes you in its arms and carries you away. You carry all your burdens on that cross around your neck. You take whatever's left that you could salvage from the wreck. A haunted past will follow you like a lost dog on the beach. Nipping at your trail till you've drifted out of reach. Yeah, turn around, there's nothing to see here. Run away, no reason to be here. It's the ghost who never goes away. Turn around and leave us behind now. See the ground as it bleeds into sky now. You fight the sea, you're always gonna drown. And the broken line horizon, and the castles made of sand. You try to hold it in your hands, you try to understand it. The ocean asks the questions, and it holds the answers too. Dissolves away the lies about the things you thought you knew. And that was Josh Woodward's um, Fight the Sea. I highly recommend you, you check him out. His website is joshwoodward.com and his music is free. That's, that's, you know, I'm only going to, you know, sing free stuff on this channel or Creative Commons stuff, I should say, because A, it's podcast safe and B, 
late. I listen to a lot of thing, things like, um, you know, Josh Woodward and uh, Heffervescent. If you haven't heard Heffervescent, that's another good one. And, uh, yeah. Let's see, I really need to make an axe. There we go. Let's chop down some tree. I'm also going to need a machete to get those reeds so I can build a boat. Oh! Snake! Snake! Ouch! Get away, snake! Go away! I, I, I don't want to fight. I just don't. Let's see if we can get some coconuts. Maybe stand on this side, because there's a coconut that looks kind of loose up there. There we go. Some palm fronds to eventually make a um, uh, a sail. There we go. Why is it that I keep forgetting simple words? Well, I think I know why. It's because depression sucks. You know, it sucks all your talent and abilities out of you, including remembering stuff. So that's a thing I'm working on. Uh, you know, I go to therapy and classes just like every other uh, responsible. Yay, coconut! That hurt though. Um, yeah, like like every you know responsible adult, like. I, uh, I go to therapy. I highly recommend you do so as well because everybody's got their own demons that you're fighting and it's it's worth it to you know take some time out of your week or out of your month just to uh, drop in to see what your condition is in. <laughs> uh, did I mention that I'm a dudist? Yeah. Uh, Dudism is an offshoot of Buddhism. And I guess Zen Buddhism would be the proper way to look at it. And um, it's based on the Coen Brothers movie, The Big Lebowski, which is another. Like I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just recommend everything that I, you know, mention on this channel, just, just because. Ooh, our trap caught a crab. Oh no, there's a snake again. I wonder if you can catch a snake in the trap. I'm gonna actually try that. Hello, snake. Come here. Can you get in the trap? No. They do not... They do not trap. Alright, I want... You know what? Let's just set up a little fire... Well, I've got a little time. Let's just set up a... a fire on the sand here somewhere because I do not want to be where all those snakes are. There's so many snakes. I hear them hissing. I don't know if you can hear them hissing. I kind of turned my sound down a little lower for this. I don't think it affects my micro... my microwave. <laughs> yes, I'm talking into my microwave. <laughs> uh... Speaking of audio equipment, um, my, you know, today's Thursday and my headphones are scheduled to arrive Friday. I don't know why the shipping information told me it was going to arrive on Monday. Um, I'm, I'm miffed as a result, but like, you know, ship happens. The dum <laughs> No, I'm terrible. Ah, it's getting dark, and there's a snake. Ah, ah. Why, why is my, why is my mouse not? Ouch! Ouch! Come on! Ouch! 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 Dang it! I couldn't get a fire down in time. Let's, let's just retry that. <laughs> uh. Maybe get a better island with less snakes. Uh, oh man, I spilled a bunch of tea on my desk. I've got a desk, but I don't have a desk chair. I'm sitting on my bed. 
And not only that, it's kind of uncomfortable because it's just, just far away enough that it's annoying. So you know what? I'm just going to put my knees on the floor here and, and I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to do things that way. Cause funny enough, I like it better on the floor than just about any other seat you could offer me. And I think that that ties into my other kinness. If, if you haven't been watching my videos and you, you might not have because maybe maybe you were looking for looking for a let's play on uh, on, on uh, don't starve and you're just like oh this Alice the, the dragon person you know let's let, uh, let's watch them and uh, berries 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 and uh, you know maybe you're starting with this video in which case welcome yeah, I, I love having you around, you know, for my journey of both gaming and, well, a lot of things. Gaming, mental health, um, you know, the concept of being an other kin. Like my, um, yeah, I grew up with, well, I'm just going to go ahead and plant, well, no, I'm going to hold on to these. Maybe maybe I'll move to an island that doesn't have trees on it. I could get some jungle trees going. Coconut tree. Yeah, I'm going to be doing philosophy cuz I uh yeah, I you know, my mother was a philosopher. She majored in philosophy and uh had a great interest in it and uh you know, still does. And I really enjoy talking to her about, you know, about, you know, things like existentialism, the concept that, you know, you experience life through your senses, right? And your senses can be deceived. You know, you can put on a VR headset, you know, that's fooling your eyes. You could, um, you know, you might be under the effects of uh, like drugs or alcohol. That affects your per perception. And the only evidence, evidence you have that this world is this world, um, as, as you see it, which, it, you know, the world as you see it, you know, it's pretty much a guarantee that it's not. <laughs> our, our eyes are you know, interpreting, you know, light into these shapes and your brain is the one doing the interpreting. And, you know, what do, you know, what reference point does your brain have when everything all starts up? You, you get born, you come into this world, everything's just shapes and colors or maybe just shapes. I don't know. I haven't been a baby in 30 years, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the idea is just that y you can't completely trust your senses to tell you the truth. And, you know, for some people this results in um, existential crisis where you're just like, uh, I don't know who I am. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, in, in response to this, I guess. And I don't know, like, I, I almost find it comforting because, you know, if I encounter something that goes against my preconceived beliefs, um, then I have the opportunity to revise my thinking to, you know, better suit how the world is, you know, as far as evidence goes. You know, like it's 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 like I could go on and on and on about existentialism. I guess you could say I'm a philosopher too, and um, yeah, it's like I find the concept that yeah that that uh, you know you could be something other snakes. You could be something other than what you think you are. <laughs> um, 
yeah, that that's that's comforting for me, just because, you know, my my internal feelings of myself don't match up with, yeah, you know, with uh, so-called reality. And I broke my axe. Yeah, you know, so-called so-called -ca reality has put me into the body of a. Um, Caucasian female human being, and uh, you know all the all the stuff that comes with that, and yeah, you know, I can't really tell, you know what, you know what's what's my real body and uh, and what's the body that that I actually inhabit. If that makes any sense. I have no idea if that makes sense. Should I grab this mushroom? I don't think I really need it. I want these reeds, but the snakes, all the snakes. And I should really not be in an area with snakes when, when darkness falls. So I'm going to go over here by these rocks actually set up my fire before I die. Let's see, what else can I do? Oh, I need a... I want to... I want to have a... Uh, another... piece of... Uh, I just... I just want that other piece of flint so I can make a pickaxe. Oh boy. This is... this may be another short run. I'm not sure. <coughs> I hope it's not. I wish that I could um, get those snakes in the traps because when I'm playing normal or reign of giants um, I like to put those... Uh... let's see... Nah. I'm, I'm full enough. Go away, snake! I don't want you! Gotta hide behind this rock. Haha. <laughs> Can I attack him? Ah! 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 More snakes! More snakes! More snakes! Run around in circles. I hope my fire will last until day. I think it will. But it's getting smaller. Ah, go away. If I got some snake skin, that would be cool. Ah! <laughs> it's getting so small. Ouch! Ouch! They still want me. Ah. Laptop mouse sucks. Okay, monster meat. That's fine. There we go. Phew! Okay. So, we really, 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 really need to make a raft. Because, as far as I can tell, there's no more flint on this island. And I need a pickaxe. It's really hard to advance if you don't have a pickaxe. I, I really shouldn't have made that second axe. It's, uh,. Kind of put me in this awkward position. Do I have enough to make a raft yet? I think it's nine. It's like nine or ten. So let's let's just get all of these reeds. Get everything we can off of this island. Let's see what's the what's the map look like? Yeah, this is the whole island. So I need to move on if I don't want to starve. Hey! <laughs> ah, I have tea. Tea is nice. Yeah, my favorite tea is Assam. And that's because um, when my sister went to India, yeah, she came back with some Assam tea. And uh, yeah, you know, we just started drinking that every morning. It was really nice. 
I, uh, yeah, so I kind of associate the taste of Assam with, you know, being at home and, and being with my close family. I guess that's something I kind of need right now, and that's one reason why I'm planning on going to Montana. Because, you know, uh, raft. I only have enough for a log raft. That's fine. Alright. Away we go! Yeah, I'm planning on going back to Montana to spend time with the folks, and I think that'll be, that'll be nice because then um, I can do videos of walks in the woods. Uh, I'm sure you would enjoy that very much because the, yeah, the woods behind my parents' place are really, really nice. It's like a third of an acre, which is plenty of room to explore. Speaking of exploring, I need to find another island. We're almost halfway through the day and there's no sign. Oh, I stand corrected. All right, let's let's park up here by this little doohickey divot. Peninsula, peninsula. That's what I'm looking for. Peninsula, peninsula. Words are weird, especially if you say them over and over again. I think that's, um, what is it, saturation, like, it's, it's something where, um, where you just overstimulate certain parts of the brain by, you know, repeating this, this, uh, stimulus over and over again, and then eventually your brain is just like, yeah, I've had enough. <laughs> Or at least that part of your brain. So the part that is, you know, understanding what the word means just kind of goes, Bleh. I'm done. Coconuts. I should make that pick. I should really make that pick. By the way, guys, um, I have, I'm pretty sure I have the mouse cursor turned off right now. So you can't really see where I'm clicking. Mostly I'm using the space bar anyway. But um, yeah, if, if you would rather see my mouse cursor for what, whatever reason, feel free to leave... Ah! <laughs> yes, leave a terrified scream. Attack! My mouse... Okay. Okay, maybe I, maybe I can actually. Oh, hello! That's an ant! I do not want to chop the ants. The ants are my friends. In uh, Alliance Seattle, I play a dryad. And uh, one of her um, kind of quests right now is that... I want to eat these bananas. I want to find a spot that isn't going to be overrun with snakes. Oh, gold, 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 gold. Uh, like I, I really want to just set up here. Probably not the best idea since A, it's so close to the water and if the tide comes in, I'm kind of screwed. But, yeah, you, you do what you can. Limpets. I wonder what limpets actually taste like. Why did I pick up petals? I really don't need petals. Monster meat. I think that I think that lowers my health when I eat it. Let's let's check. Actually, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. I can live with that. Uh, like 
see that's that's my that's my problem there the with the you know with the laptop when uh, when I try to oh my alarm is going off so that means I need to stop thank you everyone for joining me for don't starve I am going to just camp out here for the night and I will see you later bye